So the next thing you need to know about slices is we need to talk a little bit about the internals. And if you go take Bill Kennedy's class, and Bill Kennedy's a cool dude, and just between you and me, don't you can tell him I told you this, but if you're financially strapped or in a financial hardship, just reach out to Bill and say, hey, Bill, I'd love to attend your training. You know, can I come to your weekend workshop? You know, it's in near my hometown, but, you know, I only have 200 bucks or whatever it is. Just hit him up and uh, he'll <laughs> he'll grumble a little bit and say, yeah, come. But when you do go, make sure you buy him lunch. <laughs> you, even if you pay full price, like buying Bill lunch is like awesome. And he'll he'll like uh, he'll him and Han. It'll be hard for him to accept it. But it's so cool. I don't know. For me, it's a pleasure. All right. So Bill Kennedy, you know, his training at Art and Labs, uh, he used to call it Hardcore Go, but now it's um, now it's uh, Ultimate Go because I think he thought Hardcore had bad connotations. <laughs> but here's here's uh, here's there's his Go Art and Labs Go programming. Here's Art and Labs, and if you uh, go take his course, he's going to drop in and take you to like I teach like the beginner to intermediate level. He teaches the intermediate to advanced level. He's going to drop you in and teach you like you know, the internal implementation and how do you optimize, you know, for memory use and all that stuff. But anyhow, I'm going to show you just a little bit of that right now because uh, a lot of times you see this being used. And so I, I want to show it to you. Now, by and large, when you create a slice, just, you know, use a composite literal. So here, here's, the, here's the composite literal. You got the type and then you have curly braces and you have the values between the curly braces. You can, however, create a slice using the make uh, is it a keyword? Using the make keyword, let's take a look. Is make a keyword? Woohoo! Uh, keywords. And we're looking for make, baby. Make. I don't think it is. I don't see make up there. So make, make, make. Let's look for make. Make built in function make. I love it. It's a built in function. It's another built in function make. And so make takes a slice of some type, a length, and a capacity. What the heck does that mean? Let me show you. All right, so a, a slice is built on top of an array. And when you, slices are dynamic in that they can change in size, their size is dynamic. And so when you create a slice, it's sitting on top of an array. And then if your slice grows, this array down here has, a new array has to be created. And then all the values copied into the new array and then this old one's thrown away. And that takes some processing power. And so uh, you, if you already know the size of like how many elements you're gonna store, you could use make to automatically make that underlying array because a slice is built on top of an array. It'll automatically make that underlying array to be of a big enough size to hold all the values you want to put into it. And thus you save the extra time and effort that the compiler goes through, that the runtime goes through to uh, change that underlying array, copy new val uh, copy the values into a new array, throw away the old one, so that you have that bigger array to hold more values as your, your slice, which sits on top of arrays, grows in size. That's what happens. But you could, if you know, know that you need a slice of a certain size, you could use make to build that. And so I'm going to uh, do that right now. So I'm going to do make. We can look it up to just see what this says here first. Let's just see what it says in effective go. And we will go to slices. And uh, and in here, a pen, dun, 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 two dimensional slices. Just seeing if it says anything about make. Allocation with make. Make slice of int, dun, dun. And uh, p, so that's that's it, basically. Let's just do it. All right, so I'm gonna do make slice of int, and then I'm gonna do my length and my capacity. All right, so I'm gonna do make, and then I'm gonna have the type slice of int, and I'm gonna... To... All right, so now I'm gonna do make, and then parentheses, and inside those parentheses, I'm gonna put the type, and if we go over and we look at effective go, we can see that we have make, and you need the type, and then you need the length, and then you need the capacity. And so let's explore that. We have make, and we have a slice of int, and we need the length. So we'll say 10, and we'll do the capacity of 100. So now we can print this out. Let's just print it out and see what it is. And we can print out x, and we could also print out the length, and we could print out the capacity. 
So here is using make, and we have already allocated, you know, uh, values to the index positions through 10. The length of our slice is 10, and we have 100 spots in the underlying array to use. So that's what that means. And so if we wanted to, we could start doing values to all of those positions, like position 0 could be 42, and position 9, right, because we have 10, so it's 0 base index, so we go up through 9, can be, you know, 999. And, uh, and then we could print all that out again. And we have 42 there, we have 999 there, and this is through 10. Now what we can't do is we can't do this, x, 10, right, because this is at position 11, because, you know, 10 goes through position 9. Uh, so we can't, we can't store value there, because we haven't, we haven't said, hey, this is part of our slice. So if we put something there, it's not going to work. We're going to get an error. Index out of range, right? We try to put something in an index position which was out of range. But we can, however, do this. Right? We're pending to a slice of our slice of int, an int, and now that will work. And watch what happens to uh, the length and the, the length. All right. So our length went from 10 to 11, right? It goes to 11. This one goes to 11. <laughs> I didn't plan that. And uh, you can see here that now our slice is like that. So that's pretty cool. Well, what if we started out with this being a slice of 12? The, the, the capa the, this is the length, and this is the underlying array, and the capacity is 12. Let's take a look at this. Let's run that. And so here we have, this is our slice, and it's length 10, and the underlying array is 12. And now we've added some values, length 10, underlying array is 12. And now we've added more values, and we had to do that with append because originally we didn't have a length past 10, so we appended and added that in. Now we're length 11. Well, what happens now if we append a couple of times? We'll append again and again, and we'll do 324 and 325, and then we'll drop all this between it again. And let's look at what that does. All right, so check it out. Right here, we started out length 10, cap 12, underlying array has size 12, length 10, underlying array size 12, length 11, underlying array size 12, length 12, underlying array size 12. So now our slice has filled up all the spots in the underlying array, and yet we then append one more value, which becomes length 13 of our slice, and we had to throw away this old array, copy all the values into a new array, and the new array that the runtime created. And the runtime is not like a Java runtime. Runtime is just a word to talk about, like the runtime of the Go program running and the, you know, the engine that's kind of making everything run. So here, here, is a, here it went up to 24. It said double the size of that slice, double the size of that array, double the size of that underlying array so that we could hold this now, this, this now larger slice, which is uh, bigger than the, the underlying array used to be. So we had to throw, you know, get a new underlying array. So that takes some processing power to do that. It takes a little bit of time. And so, you know, it's good if you know that you're going to hold value, you know, if you're going to have a slice of a certain size, you know, go ahead and make it that size when you build it so that you don't have to recreate, recreate, recreate arrays under that are underlying the slice that you're using. I hope that made sense. <laughs> kind of jumbled my way through it, but I think I got the message across clearly enough. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. And you're going to get moment after moment after moment like that in Bill's class. <laughs> You'd be like, oh, but you might have to sit through his class two or three times <laughs> for it all to sink in. I did. I went to his class the first time, and then we talked. I took him to lunch, bought him lunch, <laughs> then went out. And and, uh, and then we found out I was teaching Go at the university and college, and he was seeing like some of the places I was dropping the ball on the more advanced internal stuff a couple years ago. He was like, dude, just come to my class again. I'm not even going to charge you. So... Totally cool of them. All right, that's uh, that's the shebang, man. That's uh, that's making a, a slice and uh, understanding length and cap. Mm -hmm.